Hey babies, official trendsetter here. Welcome back to a new video. In this video today, we're gonna to be looking at Elle's prize, OMG, leaks. As well as twin leaks and other leaks coming up later in this video. So credits to Andre Doll Girly for providing us with these leaks and the fall 2022 lineup. So without further ado, let's dive in. First up, we have the brand new House of Surprises set. So basically, these are going to be low budget re-releases of the previous core dolls. Like, you know, we had those re-releases of series one in the small packaging, uh, see-through window packaging, and some accessories were missing. So it's basically going to be like that. It's going to be with Candylicious, Roller Chick, and two other characters which are not confirmed as of yet. Next up, Series 6, 2-pack. So, whether or not a boy is in this 2-pack is not confirmed yet. But I know, we can pretty much expect for there to be a boy because it's been in the previous 2-packs. So, yeah, I think it's probably going to be confirmed later on. So, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty interesting to have another 2-pack. And Series 6 is interesting because most of 2-packs are based off a series i think like we had remixed two pack of punk girl and rocker boy we had another two pack of pink chick and tough dude from movie magic so this is the first time it's going to be based off the series series six is of course coming up soon next up we have a uh, series six which of course is going to be two characters bffs it's the classic I don't know why, but they're doing a lot of two characters lately. Like, I wish they would go back to having four characters, because I don't know why, just like a little bit more variety on the shelves when I'm picking out the characters from a specific series. We've already had um, the newest one, Series 5, which I believe was Skate Park Cutie and Trendsetter, of course, the name of my channel. And then we had, let's see, Spicy Babe and Sweets. Then we had Moonlight, BB, and Sunshine Girl. So as you can see, three series in a row have been only having two characters. Because of course, they're like BFF, so I can understand only two characters in the series. But I just want them to go back to the regular having four. Yeah, but I can't wait to see who will they make the BFFs this time. Like, pretty interesting for a character. Next up, we have Guys Series 2. So good, it's been quite a while since we've had a new guy series. Last one was Cool Lev from series one. Of course, only one character. I don't know why for the guys, it's just one character. Like I wish they would have at least two characters like the OMGs, like the OMG girls. Like I don't know why, because if we had more characters, then we don't have to wait so long for the next series to come out. I don't know, I'm just saying. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. Next up, 707 Day Special Edition. New dolls, not a re-release. Like, these are new sculpted faces, new outfits, possibly new body proportions. We do have some leaked images of them, but I will be showing that at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Of course, all of the Series 1 characters, Swag, Neonlicious, Royal Bee, and Lady Diva. You can expect this, of course, on sp Special 707. 7th of July for our Elvis Prize Day or June. I'm not sure. I think it's July. Definitely July. Okay, next up we have Collector Edition 2022 at $54.99. So this character is going to be, of course, our special collector doll for this year. I can't wait to see who it is. Like we've had NYE Queen, which is our newest one as of now. I don't know, maybe she's going to be part of a series. I'm not really sure, like with the remix and movie. No, movie magic didn't have a special edition. Maybe like remix and winter disco, this will be part of a special pretty big lineup. Like winter fashion runway, which I'll be telling you about later in the video. Next up, premium collector edition. Of course, the price is ramped up at $99.99. So this is premium collector edition. So of course you can expect this character to be incredibly detailed and gonna have lots of more 
amazing fashion and the box. Let's just say she'll be a more premium, more amazing version of a collector edition doll. All Star Sports Series 3. All Star Sports Series 3, let's just say the Series 2, we haven't been seeing much of as of now. Like people are barely finding Series 2 in stores right now. Like I don't know why, maybe there's a delay in the shipping with Cakes Babe and Skate Boss. I don't know. Possibility. But yeah, Series 3 is coming like so soon. We barely have Series 2 yet. Let's hope Series 2 will be officially out by the time Series 3 launches. Now here's what I was talking about. Winter Fashion Runway. There's Hairstylist and another one which is Fashion Stylists. So basically... I think that premium collector edition doll might be a part of this lineup because as you can see here, of course these two have two characters, just wanted to confirm that. We have winter fashion runway fashion stylists. So we have hair stylists, another fashion stylist. Oh wait, these are the same. So um and winter fashion runway extreme surprise so i think those collector edition dolls might be a part of this winter fashion runway series uh, priced at 139.99 and look at this this could be any constellation like this is not going to be completely confirmed i just hope there will be tweens in this set like i really hope now that they've released the tweens i really want them to be in this set and I kind of want a set where there's like an OMG, a tween, and a tot. Like all of these could be one family. I know the tweens are supposed to be the older sisters of different characters, which OMGs are not made for yet. But I don't know why. It would be kind of cute to have an entire family of like, we have the OMG, the younger sister, and of course the littlest one. Like the tween can be the middle child. That would be so cute. But yeah, I just hope there will be like a tween in this and maybe some OMGs and of course the little sister. Next up, we have Totally Hair's Styling Head. Now, it's been a really, really like super long time since we've had a new styling head. Like the last one was Miss Independent and Candylicious, I believe. That was series two. Series one was Royal B and Neonlicious. So this is a new one. We don't know who who's it gonna be. I just hope it's like a really cute character with amazing hair. I don't know, maybe Runway Diva would be kind of cute to have her as a styling head. But yeah, I can't wait because it's been like such a super long time. And I hope they will stay with the re-rooted, like the rooted in hair, not the stick on hair. Okay, a few more left for this lineup. We have the Diner Deluxe set. So it's going to be like Splash Beauty, you know, from the My Queens Splash Beauty, but it will have a diner theme. Like, of course, we'll have one doll, thousands of accessories, are all on one theme. Splash Beauty was mermaid themed. This will be a diner theme. So kind of interested to see who, like, who will they include in this set and maybe she'll be in the series. Next up, color change line. So it's basically gonna be like OMG swim dolls in discount stores and we'll have the same slim boxes. I don't know, but there's gonna be three characters, same as last time, but I just hope the color change hair will stay. Like with Splash Beauty, we had her color change hair. You put her in, her in the sun and those white streaks will become like pink, purplish, I believe, pinky purplish. So I hope with this color change line, they will include that feature. Like that will make it even more great and exclusive. And the articulation, all I can say is with OMG Swim, there was no articulation because of course they are meant, they are made for the water. So I can see why. And some dolls did come with articulation, but you will have to really look hard because some of the boxes had like covered clothes. So yeah, I just hope the articulation will be there and they will have like color change hair. Okay, next up, Minis and Minis Family Series 2. In case you don't know, Elspryze has come up with Elspryze Minis, basically miniature versions of 
RL's prize were like miniature versions of the OMGs, the Tots, the Pets, there's Minis where you get only one character and there's Family where you get the entire family and of course the ball turns into a playset. Just for all those who don't know what LL's prize and Minis are, just wanted to confirm that, Minis Claw Machine comes with exclusive dolls. It's going to be like a little claw machine. This is not what it's going to look like, by the way. It's just a poopsy slime surprise claw machine. Just to give a little example. So I can't wait to see like a cute little claw machine. Probably not going to actually work. Maybe. Not actually sure. I'm pretty sure it is going to work. Just because Ellis Price has that amazing attention to detail. So possibly might work. Next up, Fall 2022 lineup of the tweens. Again, credit to Girly for providing us with these leaks. Okay, Series 3 of uh, the tweens. Like, I loved Series 2. It was the best. So, two all the characters, in fact, have been confirmed. We'll have Chloe Pepper, Marilyn Starr, Emma Emo, and Nia Regal. Like, I can't wait to see what these characters will look like. Like... Like, Her Majesty's twin sister might be really cute. I'm not sure what the other's names are. I think this is Grunge Girl, um, Movie Star or Movie Babe. I'm not sure what her name is. I just don't remember the names of all the tots. Next up, Masquerade. So one of the characters has been confirmed, Mischievous, which I cannot believe it, is going to be the big sister of Troublemaker. I love Troublemaker. She was one of my favorite tots. She was just the cutest. I love her blue team and her cat team. So I just can't wait to see her tween big sister. Like, she would be so cute. The other characters are unconfirmed. Masquerade might be pretty interesting team for the tweens. Like, maybe they'll come with little miniature masks. With a little holder for them to hold with their cute little hands. That would be so cute. They came with miniature masks. Next up, we have Babysitter 2 Packs, which will come with a tween and, of course, a little tot. One of the characters, of course, confirmed, Ivy Winks and the baby doll. Not sure who the baby doll is going to be. Like, maybe it's their little sister or maybe a entirely different tot. Kind of makes sense for them to make tween babysitters, of course, they're younger and mostly babysit. So it would be pretty cute to see this. I don't know who the tot is going to be. Maybe it's going to be like their little sister or maybe a different tot. Different tot would make a lot more sense. Okay, now OMG leaks the actual pictures. So this is a new doll which we don't know has been unconfirmed. And can I just say her makeup? Beautiful. Love it. Stunning. So here's her painted head with no rerouting, like rooting holes. Her makeup, for some reason, reminds me of Ribbon. Let me know, does it remind you of Ribbon too? Like, I don't know why Ribbon team. Kind of like, maybe she'll be a present surprise doll, like with Miss Glam. And of course, Miss Celebrate. Maybe she's also going to be a present surprise doll. Just because of the Ribbon makeup, like it reminds me of Ribbon. And Ribbon, present, kind of makes sense. Here's another picture of her. Of course, I had to censor this part out. YouTube rules. So here she is. Of course, this is not her hairstyle, actually. We had her hairstyle. Most pictures, her hairstyle is like this. Her hair is tied up into a bun and she has bangs. This is probably an image where her hairstyle is not made yet. It's in the process. Here's another picture of her. Um, By the way, just wanted to say this is not her outfit. This is just to give you an example. Not her outfit at all. Like, I don't know what's going on with this extra strand of hair. Like, what is the design supposed to be? I'm confused. Here's another doll which is not confirmed yet. Beautiful hair. I love her. Like, look at that hair. So colorful and, and her makeup. So interesting. Basically, most people are thinking that she's probably going to be the big sister of Splatters. Just because her hair has so many random, amazing colors in it. And so does her makeup. And probably the little big, the big sister of Drip Drops. 
I think this one is more likely. But then again, the big problem with OMGs is sometimes OMGs don't look like their little sisters like at all. Sometimes they do look like their little sisters, but other times they look entirely different. So we can't say for sure. For the other doll as well, like this doll, we don't know who her sister really is. Like people are speculating, probably funky, QT. But then again, she could have an entirely different sister who you can't compare her to. Same for this one. But I think it's definitely going to be drip drops just because of the, you know, color scheme. She has mostly a blue, dark blue team with splats of color, just like this doll and her hair. So it's probably going to be drip drops more than splatters. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, the 707 Special Edition Dolls Reveal. So these dolls have been revealed. Don't worry, I have more clear images. So this line is going to be called Fierce. You can see in the background, the OMGs have completely changed in this line. Credit to Atheri Doll Obsession underscore for these leaks. So here we go. This is Neonlicious. And as you can see, everything has changed. Like the outfits have changed. They've changed their hair. And their expression is also, it's more of a side glance. Like, I don't know why it's changed. Here's a more clear image of Neonlicious. Like, I don't know why she's my favorite from this line. Like, Look at her face, all the little stars and that band-aid and those little teeth. So cute. I love it. Just like the tweens, she's adorable. Like why did they not include the stars and the little hearts all over her face, star and heart freckles? Why did they not include that in the original release? This is a so much more cuter version of her. Here is Swag in her box. So as you can see, the art is completely different. Window box. This is going to be called Fierce Line. And here is her herself. Now, one thing I have to say about these dolls is... I love the original faces. I'm sorry to everyone who loves these new faces. But of course, this is my opinion. And Neonlicious is the only one I like because she looks so cute. But the face, original faces look more innocent compared to this. Like, I don't love the expression. Lady Diva, like, I do not like the face. Neonlicious is the only one I liked because she is so cute and kawaii. Even with a different face paint, you can't make her look so cool. Lady Diva completely changed. Swag's hair is um same with the twisted braids. She has molded on baby hairs. Different expression, side glance. Her outfit also has completely changed. Different expression. And her hair is same twisted hairs. But tied them into a half up, half down hairstyle. Next up, Lady Diva. She has little molded on baby hairs as well. Her hair, she does not have those poofy bangs anymore. I guess MJ must have seen many people were restyling Lady Diva's bangs like they did something like it. Her bangs are more side swept, side swept line bangs. Her hair is tied up into two pigtails, of course, remaining with her same color scheme. She has a little microphone that actually seems metallic, like her little headphone set seems more metallic. Like, cool. Here's Royal B. Like, pretty interesting. Her expression has changed, molded on baby hairs. Um, her hair is completely different. Her hair is into little twists, like that has changed. Her hair was originally very poofy. Now it's changed to basically very curvy and twisty hair. She has a different outfit, which seems like she's wearing a little cape that attaches to this skirt. Not really sure yet. All I gotta say is I love Neonlicious. Neonlicious is the only one I love. Next up, here's another doll which we don't know whose little sister she is. Like, oh my god, she looks so cute. I love her style. Look at that ombre makeup. And her hair. Like, it's all blonde with these little pink streaks in it. So cute. Okay, everyone, that's all for today. Hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.